This is the 35th JCAS Teachers here in Student Immature, and uh, it's been quite a full weekend. I'm a visual artist in Jersey City. I've been in Jersey City 14 years. I have a real variety of work in my studio, uh, but the work that catches uh, a lot of people's attention is the portraits that are uh, photographed through materials and then backlit, and it gives a sense that we have people that are kind of on the other side of the glass. And um, there was a call for art about, uh, the exhibit was called Outsiders. It was at the Marcella Studios, which had been up on Newark Avenue a while back. And um, it was at the time when, um, you know, the refugee crisis was really, really coming forward in, in the news. And we did this exhibit and I decided if I could put people on the other side of the wall that couldn't get into the gallery, if I could make that feel that way, that I would be saying something that a story, a narrative image could only hint at. In addition to the abstract work, uh, I create uh, photorealistic portraiture. This is a portrait, is a portrait of my parents. Uh, they're my first portrait commission in my first art studio here in Jersey City. And uh, so they were, they were uh, excited to have the opportunity to finally be painted. <laughs> so, yeah. Welcome to my studio. I'm at 130 Central Ave in the Musicians Building in the Heights and I'm working on some large paintings here that you can see in progress. I work in acrylic and flash and pastel and also oil. So I have a couple different things in progress going on in here. So this piece behind me is um, mainly all water media and I'm experimenting with some different types of application of that media, working into it with pastels and crayons and looking at ballroom dance and traditional gender roles and I'm trying to mess that up and complicate it and, and queer it and doing that in different media. Uh, I also have a couple little ceramics here that I made as some studies for these figure works, so um, those have been a fun new medium for me also. Hi, my name is Ruben Nizri and welcome to New Orchid Studios. I'm not just a drummer, I'm also a father, a producer and an engineer. Follow me. Besides being a, a drummer for 20 years, uh, in the recent 25 years, I've had this awesome recording studio that um, I use to my advantage when I need to record drum tracks for other people. But besides that, I record other people as well. So if you need to do ADR, voiceover, podcast, record a band, we do it all over here. Well, it's all art, and very likely we can do it for you. Okay, as you can see, it's, my art uh, has a lot of colors, different shapes and forms. Uh, this style right here is, I, I really do that for autism awareness, because the autistic kids like bold colors and puzzles. So I guess it, it helps them out with how they think and how they do things. One of the things about my style is I listen to a lot of house music. And so when I, when I paint and draw, I'm just creating at the time, uh, whatever comes to my mind at the time with the beat and the movements. And as you, if you know anything about house music, it's all about beats and movements and being happy and making other people happy. So I consider my art a, a, a form of that. Welcome to Angela's Dollhouse. We're located at 1709 JFK Boulevard in Jersey City on the corner of Linden Avenue. We call ourselves the creative crafting community. Not only do we create doll type things, but we're just creative in general. Everything from spoken word, to cooking, to handcrafts, to sewing, to paint and sips, we do it all. In the middle of the summer, in the middle of the winter, if you could come into an establishment where it feels nice, we're doing something right. And that's what we set out to do. We promote many artists here. We have 
different handcrafted vendors that pop up and some that stay on a regular monthly basis. We also have classes. We have doll making classes. We have paint and sips. We have collage classes. We have clay classes. We have cooking. We do a little bit of everything and including my favorite doll making and sewing classes. So we are here one year today. It's our anniversary and we are celebrating. We are celebrating because, you know, sometimes people say, you know, you don't make it if you don't do this, if you don't do that. But every day to me, when I come in, you don't know what the encounter is going to be. Someone's going to come in and they, they've had a bad day and the only thing they needed was a hug. 